Hello everyone, welcome to the captain's video vlog. We are Saturday, uh, December the 17th, 2016. Ooh, only uh, one week away from uh, Christmas Eve. <laughs> uh, and uh, my Christmas might come a little bit in advance because, yeah, as you see, still bloodshot eyes. <laughs> Can't escape that. But yeah, um, we are three hours away from the the time I'm supposed to wake up if I want to you know go, go with my family to to Andorra which is something that I don't want to do so yeah I guess that I'm well on my way to dodge that bullet um, then again I know that sometimes th they can be really you know persuasive in their ways to to wake people up um, essentially you know doing a lot of noise doing as if everyone was awake <laughs> yeah yeah i'm you know i'm not too much of a fan of uh, of going there but the, the, as i said yesterday i know that there is um christmas shopping that they they want to do you know as well as <laughs> as the usual shopping for cigarettes and alcohol well probably not alcohol though who knows because you know christmas is just around the corner so yeah i don't know actually i i actually i'm not sure at all uh but still you know i know that uh, by going to sleep right now well uh, right after i record the the video blog i don't know because one thing that i know for sure is that man i I just cannot predict how much time I will remain asleep. Um, <laughs> will I, you know, will I fall asleep for two hours and wake up before everyone? Because you know, somehow I have this this sense of consciousness that uh, will wake me up anyway. Or do I oversleep? Uh, now, you know, uh, going to sleep before 4 a.m. means that oversleeping barely means uh, waking up at noon. So yeah, I'm actually a bit tired. Um, so we might never know. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, I actually thought that by two something a.m. I would be able to record the the video I blog, but then you know I got kind of sidetracked, uh, <laughs> as as you do, I guess. Uh, I don't remember exactly what got me sidetracked. Sidetracked. Uh, because I was watching anime, you know, and oh yeah, at one point I started watching the some shorts instead of watching the episodes that I was supposed to watch. Uh, yeah, I, I guess that uh, I I did a lot of pausing while I was watching Bungo Stray Dogs. Yeah, uh, not that it's not good, it's just that I was doing other stuff because. Uh, I guess that I can try my hand at multitasking while watching something in a language that I don't understand at all, you know? <laughs> nah, I cannot do that, actually. It's uh, it's very complicated. So, yeah. Um, and then the, I was transferring some files to my phone and to my external hard drive because the the memory on the, on the com computer is is running out pretty fast so yeah um, besides that you know there's just a thing that I can really say uh, <laughs> uh, yeah I guess that it's a I mean I guess that uh, to, to the, the stuff that I did today was a side effect of uh, not watching enough anime or uh, I would say two nights ago yeah uh that that's that yeah yeah that's definitely that because i remember that i was supposed to do the cleanup anyway that night because i could only free up 900 something uh megs and and it was the night where i was supposed to talk about nxt and i know that nxt i just cannot do it under 10 minutes even if i try you know uh and i really tried like i i alluded well, pretty much everything uh, that was, you know, uh, irrelevant to to really what could be a quick recap, 
and yet I still went over 20 minutes with uh, NXT and the other stuff that I talked about. So yeah, um, <laughs> but if I had watched, you know, those those uh, like four or five five episodes, I know that I could have definitely, uh, I would have definitely not have had to do well all that uh, that clean up today. Um, and the worst thing about this is that I I don't know if with all the anime that I have on my on my phone, uh, there there will be enough space to be cleared to talk about Roadblock for 20 minutes. Then again, will I even be uh, awake enough by by 2 a.m. Well, by 1:30, we'll say 1:30 a.m. to even consider uh, staying up until 5 5:30 5 uh, to watch Roadblock and do the video blog after Roadblock. Fuck if I know. There's really, at this point, I cannot predict anything. Um, <laughs> and it's essentially that. Um, so yeah. And to be fair though, uh, today, you know, uh, as to after yesterday's video blog, I went to sleep. Well, pretty much after, right after recording the video blog. And then I, I when when did I woke up? When did I wake up? I did wake up like before noon. And that's when I realized that I didn't uh, start the the upload, uh, but it was a 13 minute video, so I was like, yeah, I guess that uh, uh, I'll start the upload and uh, just uh, sleep while while they it's doing its thing, and uh, that's what I did. S though I woke up like an hour before uh, I, I woke up again an hour before the upload was done. So uh, yeah, you kind of see the deal. I watched some videos, and uh, yeah, I I stepped out of my bed mm, around four four thirty in the afternoon. Yeah, so just just on time to watch Paris lose to Gengar. Oh boy, that you know I I really feel bad for for Unai Emery because. It felt like uh, like this week with uh, the the good second half against Lille, uh, Nice, and the match against Lille, they had finally found their footing with um, Emery's system. But uh, no, nah, definitely doesn't look like that. Um, so I really feel bad because he's a great coach, and I fear that he might be fired, though. If you remember correctly, uh, this was the situation, and probably even worse, with uh, uh, Jardim uh, at the beginning of the of his uh, tenure in Monaco, because he had started on the wrong foot, and there was pretty much no more wrong foot to start uh, on, because I think that at one point he was like close to the bottom of the table, and now he's coaching one of the best teams in Europe like you know you can say what you want about the teams that they face and that's one excuse that I found despite the fact that they beat my favorite club ever you know of in all of space and time 4-0 uh, <laughs> so yeah just like ha, I guess he cannot be helped you know they, they are one of the best teams Period. They score a lot of goals, and that's something that cannot be denied. Uh, but yeah, essentially this week between the the League Cup and the Liga matches this weekend, it was kind of weird. Like, uh, not confirmed that uh, Sergio Contessao brought something to the table that uh, Rene Girard didn't do uh, by winning, you know, two 0 to Angers. Uh, but then Bordeaux's, you know, patch of of sun. Uh, just <laughs> evaporated uh, in Montpellier where they lost 4-0 uh, so yeah same as you know Montpellier they were bad patch and suddenly wow 4-0 uh, Toulouse had to fight for a 1-1 draw against Nancy uh, what else was there uh, Caen had another match that was reported because of the of the fog <laughs> tough tough luck and uh, yeah I don't remember the other results but yeah, the thing that sticks out the most is uh, Gengar winning 2-1 to Paris. That's kind of, yeah. And tomorrow, 
Monaco is gonna slap Lyon, maybe. Oh, that could be some spicy things to say about that. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Whatever, how old is uh, the video upload is? At I'm tired.